Saudi took Konaka, Dutch how, and hello everyone, and welcome back. I have been in Thailand for eight months now. Wow, where has the time gone? I have no idea. I have started to pick up some Thai habits that I didn't realize I had picked up until I had a friend who came who was in my video where I was wearing traditional Thai clothes. So shout out to Jade. And let me know in the comments if you have also picked up any of these habits in Thailand or if you do these habits. Number one, when someone says something and I agree or I want them to know I've replied or heard them or whatever, in the UK, I'll be like, oh, okay, yeah, sure, uh-huh, okay, cool. Whereas here, <laughs> I have not changed that. And no matter what language I speak, I still use this. And that is by saying, uh, I'll be like, they'll say something like, uh, uh. It's not polite if you do it with certain people. So I only do it, well, I try to only do it with friends or people that I speak to on a regular basis. I'm a very lazy speaker. So, uh, has become a permanent fixture in my vocabulary. Why have I adopted this one? It's not just me, I was speaking to another expat friend who lives here and she's also picked up, not uh, but some, a similar one. The second one is in relation to saying thank you to cars and things like that. So when in the UK you cross the road and someone gives way or they let you go, you go like this to say thanks, like you put your hand up. That's thank, that's thank you. That's good enough. That's all we need. Here to say thank you, you nod your head like this. So now, when I'm crossing the road, I'm like, as I go, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I've even like, when saying thank you to people sometimes, I'll like nod my head, okay, thank you. We never do that in the UK. I did it to one of my English friends and she was like, did you just bow at me? And I was like, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I'm just used to doing it to say thank you. So thank you. <laughs> I don't know what it's gonna be like when I go back to the UK if I'm gonna do this and then the car's gonna be like what is that what are you doing why didn't you say thank you I definitely nod my head in thanks but I don't I think that's that's fine when I go back maybe not but here it's the culture do it for the culture the third one when we want to go past someone in the UK we we literally just go past them if if and what I mean is if you're in a shop and they're looking at something in the on the display we just will be like oh sorry and go past whereas here they like kind of half nod half crouch to go past so it'll be like oh as they go whereas in the UK we literally we, we walk normally we just say oh sorry and then we walk a bit quicker to get past them but I've started to do that now so when I go past someone in the shop or something I like crouch and like say oh and go so it's like a half nod half crouch as i go past them i think it, it, it's nice because it shows you're trying to not get in their way and make yourself small but realistically there's no difference there's no difference between crouching and standing straight and walking because either way i don't have x-ray vision i cannot see through your body your body's still there but i do think it shows it's a different type of respect in the UK, we say sorry a lot, and so that's why we would say, oh, sorry, and go past. I'm assimilating. I'm assimilating. I don't know what I'm going to do when I'm back in the UK, because if I do that in the UK, they'll think I'm crazy. I'm being honest. They'll be like, what are you doing? Just, just walk. <laughs> Another thing that I have adopted here is waving and the way I wave. And when I say that, I don't mean like, hey, how are you? No, 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 no. I mean, when you want to wave someone over to you. So in the UK, if we want to wave someone over, like come here, we do it like this. Our palm is up, fingers come in. Come here, come here, come, 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 this way. Sometimes to the side, but usually it's up. And I came here and I noticed it's not done like that. I notice it's palm down and the fingers go down. So it's this way, come. Which to us is strange. If someone waved me over like this, it feels kind of rude. It's almost like you're saying that they're below you. Like, come here, come here, child, come here, child. Or it's like, it can look like you're saying slow down. So we do this for slow down. So it would either be slow down or come here, child, depending on how it looks. So yeah, we wouldn't do it. But here, when I was speaking to a Thai friend, I, I was comparing the two. She would say that this to her is very seductive. Like, oh, come here. But I have now started it. I noticed this. I said to my friend, I was like, come here, come. I was like, come. <laughs> See how quickly 
we just kind of adopt things around us that we see all the time and then the final thing that i wanted to flag that i do is in relation to restaurants and speaking to waiters or waitresses in the uk when it's time for that bill maybe it's because we're very reserved people we will sit there and we will stare and we hope that you get the brain waves that we're ready for service we're ready for the bill we're ready for it all we kind of just sit there and stare and then when we get eye contact that's when we'll be like <gasps> like this but then what sometimes happens is you get eye contact you go like this and the waiter turns and they like don't look at you and you're like damn now i've got to wait I've got to wait some more I've got to send the signals they've got to know we very rarely very rarely will call the waiter or waitress over it'll probably be if we're in a rush or something like that or there's a problem but usually it's like a oh oh and then when it's for the time for the the bill we'll just be like and that's it <laughs> but here oh no 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 wait who here is very much pija pija so it'd be like pija check binna or pija sang ahan ka and i started to do that i'm very proud of myself the british in me was very nervous at first i was like pija check binna ka <laughs> whereas now i'm like pija check binna <laughs> I've got used to speaking up because yeah, we just don't speak up much we, we really don't we really really do not and I think also actually that's something I've noticed is is very different so for example I'm going on a tangent here but a little story time in Muay Thai because I've mentioned before I do Muay Thai and I've noticed that when people punch they make noises right when they if they, they they do their kicks it'd be like huh or we or uh, bah, ah, whatever they say I only do that with friends in Muay Thai when I'm joking I'm like pow, pow, kachow. but that's it but then when like I see them some people who actually do it properly they're like they're, they're serious they're like we awa kapow well not kapow but you know but me when I'm hitting I'm that's like the loudest I'll go. <sighs> That's it. <sighs> because it's just very un-British to shout. And I remember one time the trainer was like, told us we had to all shout when we make, when we do the, the attacks. And he was like, 10 attacks, all of you loud noises. And then I was there like, ah, bye. <laughs> and he was like, no noise no noise and then i was and then i literally turned around and i said con angry it may chop siang ma nha may die <laughs> and then he's like oh con angry it may chop la I'm like chai may chop <laughs> so then he thankfully stopped trying to force me thank you cotton <laughs> car it's so hard i'm not used to that yet i've not made any noises yet maybe again if i stay here longer i'll start making noises but I'm not there. I'm not there yet. I'm very reserved. We don't make noise. We just sit and watch and judge. <laughs> but that is the end of the things that I have adopted since being here. I'm, there's probably more. There's probably more. I just don't realise it. But those are the ones I wanted to flag. Drop in the comments if you who are living in Thai and you've started doing this. Or maybe if you already do these things and it's normal for you. I'd love to know and as always if you have any other questions about life in Thailand or if there's anything you'd like to see me make a video on drop it in the comments below this video will be coming out the week before Christmas and so I have a very fun Christmas video coming out next week all about the Bangkok Christmas lights so make sure you hit that subscribe that follow and the bell so that you do not miss when that video comes out more importantly, I want you to have a very blessed day, a very blessed Christmas festive period. And until next time, Saudi to Konaha, Zajian, goodbye everyone.